I've had so many people message me about the struggle and how the struggle is real committing to this process and it's like I've just decided I want to tell you guys to stop struggling. You don't have to struggle. I actually just don't really like how it looks. Here are quick reasons why the Curly Girl Method is not for me. Welcome to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. This is my house. As you can tell from the title, I am over it. I have been doing the Curly Girl Method for about three and a half to almost four months and I have just realized a lot of things about myself in that time period, including the fact that I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I know a lot of you out there also um, you started the journey around the same time that I did and have been looking to me to kind of, I don't know, hold it down, um, but I just can't do it. There's a lot of reasons why I have realized the curly girl method is not for me, so I just wanted to share them with you because I don't want anyone out there to feel bad if they've given up because sometimes it's just, you know, not your cup of tea every, to each their own and, um, so here are quick reasons why the Curly Girl Method is not for me. Number one, I like having my hair straight. I have, I realize I don't have super curly hair. I have a wavy 2B, 2A, 2C, something like that. Um, I will put a ton of effort into my hair and products and time. And when I do that, I will get a lot of curl out of my hair. Um, but this is like day three and it basically all falls out. It looks super stringy and um, yeah, I usually wouldn't walk around with my hair like this, but because of the curly girl method, I was because it just was so much time, effort and energy to style it the way that it would look good. I actually really want to cut my hair. I just realized I'm a very low maintenance person and I don't want to spend so much of my time in my day or before I'm going out or before I'm going to work, worrying about doing my hair. So I'm planning on getting a haircut that's gonna be a little more low maintenance, a little more wash and go, because that's just my style of who I am. Um, I've also realized that I really like coloring my hair. I've had pink hair, I've had blonde hair, I've had darker, darker hair, I've done like the whole roots darker to lighter at the bottom, the Bailage, bailage. Did, how do you say that? Comment below, like the spe like how the pronunciation of that bailage. Whatever, I don't know. Um, I really like coloring my hair. I think it's fun, and I like I like coloring it, cutting it. I like styling it. I really enjoy straightening it. When I do straighten it, I like curling it. I like having variety in my style. It's how I like to express myself. I don't actually, you know, do a lot with my clothes, or um, often I don't wear a lot of makeup, but. My hair is one thing that I actually don't mind styling differently from time to time. So yeah, um, I know the, the Curly Girl Method has shown me a lot of really awesome tips, tricks, and a way to have healthier, more manageable hair. I'm definitely gonna continue using a lot of the products that are sulfate-free, silicone-free, paraben-free. That just is like a, a sensical decision to make. It's just better for your hair, it's better for your body. Um, to not have those toxins. So that part I'm gonna keep for sure. The styling methods when I do wanna wear my hair curly, I will follow as well. Um, for me, I have a hair type that actually can go quite curly with a lot of effort and work, but it can also go quite straight with some effort and work. And when I just leave it in the middle, it just is this like scraggly kind of situation. So I just not, not enjoying the scraggly situation. I understand if I was following the curly girl method for like four, six months, a year, three years, my hair would probably get a little bit more wavy, um, maybe a slight bit more curly, but I honestly don't wanna live my day to day hating my hair. <laughs> We don't have to do this, people. If you are not loving how your hair looks all the time and you're feeling like you're forced to committing to this process and hopes that in like a year or five years from now, your hair is gonna look amazing, um, we could get hit by a bus tomorrow. Just putting it out there. Like, we're not guaranteed to live forever. So if you're, it, this, and this is kind of like this existential philosophical moment that I had, but like, 
no matter what you're doing in life, if you're not enjoying like yourself, like on a daily basis to a certain degree, if you're not happy with the way that you look, like don't just keep doing that thing. Like, a lot of you may or may not know, but I, um, if you go and you peruse through my channel, I'm actually, um, my first passion is fitness. My not very high on the passion scale is my hair, but I did make these videos and they seem to get a lot of traction. Um, but with fitness, it's the same idea that, you know, if you're slaving away at the gym all the time for some sort of end goal, but like every day you you feel like you're punishing yourself by having to work out and diet and stuff like that, then there's just no point. Like it's not fun. I did a bodybuilding competition just this past year and um, I worked out relentlessly for 16 weeks and dieted and all this sort of stuff. I had a, a show that I did and um, it almost completely sucked. It pretty much sucked completely the fun out of fitness for me. Um, I was very miserable. Um, a lot of parts of my life suffered physically, mentally, relationships, everything. Um, I documented it all on my channel, so you can feel free to watch that if you're at all interested in that sort of thing. But yeah, so now I'm just doing the same thing with my freaking hair and it's a little ridiculous. This whole curly girl method, it's just like kind of been a drag because I just even, when I put all the time and energy into my hair, I actually just don't really like how it looks. So I'm gonna quit guys, I quit. Um, for, the, for the remainder of my time on this earth, I definitely plan on, you know, like I said, using some of the products that I've discovered throughout this process and definitely some of the methods, depending on when, how much time I wanna spend doing my hair. But I'm not gonna feel guilty about heat styling it. I'm not gonna feel guilty if I decide to color it. I'm not gonna feel, you know, guilty about blow drying it, straightening it, whatever else. I'm actually gonna go dig out my heat styling tools. I put them in a storage locker. But I also know that I'm not gonna use them that often and I'm not gonna destroy my hair or whatever. At the end of the day, Honestly, my perspective is that um, hair, hair is just hair. And if it's affecting you to the level that like you're not feeling, like I said, good about yourself and you know, you shouldn't be, there should be no struggle. I've had so many people message me about the struggle and how the struggle is real, committing to this process. And it's like, I just decided I wanna tell you guys to stop struggling. You don't have to struggle. You can enjoy your hair. You can like the way you look right now. Just take bits and pieces of whatever the process, the methods that works for you um, and your hair type because we all don't have those crazy, amazing, beautiful curls that you see out there from people that are using the method that naturally with genetics have actually just really great curly hair. Um, and no amount of products and scrunching and crazy ass methods that I've seen on YouTube is your hair gonna permanently ever look that way if it's just not, that's just not what your hair is. My hair is, is not. So, giving up and I, I'm a quitter and I'm proud about it. I don't care who knows about it, I quit. You know, sometimes you, you can't win them all and I don't wanna win it and I'm, I'm, a, I'm losing I'm not losing no because I'm, I just don't want to do it anymore. So um, my next video, I'll probably be getting my hair cut and I'm really excited about it. Um, also, I have a lot of other things to talk about um, outside of hair, but this is what you came for. Haircut video coming soon. Happy holidays um, for those of you who celebrate them. And if you don't celebrate them, see you in the next video, anywho, okay? All right, I gotta go to work, I'm gonna be late. Yeah, okay, bye. Hello, my friends, my beautiful human friends. Um, it is 7.30 in the morning, and I, I just thought I would make a continuation of my previous rant about this whole hair journey thing that I was attempting to do. Me and Skylar got up early because we have lots to do. We're having people over to our house later, and I plan on straightening my hair today set it. I'm going to blow dry it. I'm going to straighten it. I haven't done that for about four months almost. And I plan on cutting my hair as well. So I just, the amount of fucks that I give is zero 
right now about following any kind of like hair bible method situation. But I did want to say that of course, like you take bits and pieces of things and apply it to your life and what's going to make you happy in your life. And for me, I haven't felt for a while like I've been able to really express myself, you know, and this might sound dumb, but like I just, I haven't liked the way that I've looked with my hair. It doesn't match my personality. I actually really enjoy using a straightening iron, blow drying. I like doing different hairstyles, not always having the same hair. And uh, so I'm excited with my new decisions to not only cut it, but just to do whatever I want with it, color it, whatever, whatever may happen. But like this, I've realized my hair is not curly. It's kind of wavy. And I don't want to live a life where I'm putting in shit tons of product in my hair to make it look half decent and spending hours on my hair to make it look half decent only for it to not look good the next day. It's just way too much work for me. And um, I also, I mentioned in a previous video that like I do have psoriasis on my scalp. It's very, I have very sensitive skin and putting that so much products in my hair, like the mousse, the leave-in conditioners, the conditioners, the shampoos, the the gels, the oils, like it's just too much. Like I actually have nothing in my hair right now. I haven't put any product in it in the last few days. And you know, this is kind of what it does on its own. It, it doesn't stay curly. It doesn't even stay super wavy. It kind of like does this and I'm okay with that. And some days my hair is gonna look like this. Some days it's gonna, I'm gonna, do all the efforts and put in all the work and have it like super wavy curly and other times I'm gonna have it a motherfucking straight. And that's my, that's the way I plan to roll. So I appreciate everyone who's been following me on this journey so far. Um, and I'm gonna take you to my hairstylist in a few weeks when I get it cut. Because it is a big deal for me. I actually have had long hair for a very long time. Most of my adult life, my hair has been like there or longer. So I'm gonna just like go for a full on chop. And, and my plan is from there on to treat my hair better than I have. Actually heat style it a lot less than I used to, but have the option when I want to heat style it to do that. So I think that's it for now. I may or may not show you what my hair looks like straight, um, but we have a lot to do right now and I gotta, clean up and tidy up for our guests that are coming. So thank you guys so much for all the advice and tips. If you're someone who's starting your curly hair journey or your wavy hair journey or your healthy hair journey, please check out my other videos only because in the comments, there's so many helpful bits of advice from other people. Like you guys have put, you've provided me with so much amazing information and things that I want to try and things that I have tried. And um, so yeah, there's a wealth of information in the comment section of those videos and you know, a little bit of information in the actual video. So I love you guys and I hope you don't judge me too hard for quitting, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do for you. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that I did it, I straightened my hair. One thing I have really noticed is, as I was straightening my hair, is that the ends are still so damaged. And I can't wait to just cut this all off because it's actually just like damaged ends that I'm hanging on to for whatever reason. And it's time to let them go. So, just wanted to show you. This will be the actual conclusion of this video and definitely my next video will probably be me in a hair salon with my stylist Ryan getting my hair cut so enjoying it well I have it and don't be afraid to do whatever the fuck you want that's the moral of the story that I'm trying to send out right now just do whatever you want whatever feels good whatever you feel looks good whatever on a daily basis when you leave your house you feel good about yourself that's what you should be doing